Next, demand response, our fourth kind of plant. Demand response is a special kind of plant. Uh, there's, uh, uh, we're going to assume that it has zero capital cost for simplicity. Now the capital cost is really just the cost of uh, negotiating a contract with a large customer. Uh, so it's not really zero, but it's going to be small relative to the size of the generation. So we're going to call it zero for simplicity. So no capital costs or very low capital costs. And we can think of an example as being writing a contract with um, a farmer not to irrigate during a certain time when, um, when it's important to have reduced demand. Uh, the farmer would agree to uh, stop irrigating crops during that brief period. Or you might think about large customers running backup generators behind the meter generation as one possible source of energy. Or you could think about drawing electricity from a bank of distributed batteries, even electric car batteries, around, uh, around the grid. So there are all kinds of opportunities for um, demand response. We're going to talk about uh, uh, demand response as just having a flat cost of $80 per megawatt hour. Um, now, load shedding itself doesn't have an explicit price, but it's fair to say that it has a cost to DISCOMs, it has a cost to DISCOMs customers. Uh, customers are unhappy when there's load shedding. Uh, probably there's political feedback to a lot of load shedding. So uh, load shedding and demand response we think is sort of two sides of this coin. Uh, either the DISCOM can turn the electricity off or we can go to customers and ask them to voluntarily turn electricity off in return for some, uh, some compensation. So demand response is going to be available at $80 per megawatt hour, as much as, uh, as, much as we need.